everybody. It's kind of late, um, so <laughs> we'll see who joins me, but I had to do the mascara giveaway, um, and then I actually had a customer, have a customer who was asking about some application of some products that she purchased, so I'm going to um, go over that tonight as well. And yes, I just took a shower. Well, not just took a shower, but um, and I had talked about my hair towel in the past, and so I wanted to show that off as well in my pajamas. So here we are in our jammies doing makeup, which is totally normal, right? So say hi when you jump on. Um, let's see what are we gonna do first. I think we're gonna do some makeup. I'm going to do um, a bronzer, a blush. Um, just some other products that my customer had purchased. Um, I'll walk you through that. And then I'm gonna do the mascara giveaway. And then we actually have a lip combo sale going on right now, which is super exciting. So I'm just gonna do maybe like two lip combos so you can kind of see my favorite ones. And then we're gonna say goodnight. So let's start. Okay, so my customer and friend, she purchased um, kind of our, their, it was a limited, um, holiday items. So you can't get them anymore, but it was a combination of the bronzer and the blush. So really cool. And you can get these palettes. It's a completely customizable palette. It comes in a single, so you can get just one. You can get, um, a bronzer, a blush, or a translucent powder. Hey Mary. Hi Jessica. Um, and so you can get one, you can get two, or you can get three. Okay. And I absolutely love this. It's completely um, up to you what colors go in here so you're never buying anything that you're not going to use okay you know I am going to take my hair down though so I don't look completely ridiculous the entire time okay so the trick y'all is to like once you take it down see how crazy it is then you got to kind of straighten it out and then I actually sleep with it wet and then kind of redo it in the morning my part got a little bit over that's all right. We're going to go with it. Okay. So there it is. Crazy. Look at these ringlets, y'all. From straight hair my entire life to legit ringlets. It's just the craziest thing in the world. Anyway, this is not a hair live. Thank you. It's like a drowned rat at the moment, but thanks. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. So she was kind of curious how she would apply her bronzer, her blush, um, and then um, translucent powder and glow drops, that kind of thing. So we're just gonna do kind of a quick application there. So with our bronzers, you can do a matte or you can do a shimmer. I always did a bronzer with a shimmer. And what I've kind of learned is that if you're gonna use a bronzer for um, like a deep contour, you might wanna go with more of a matte um, bronzer. But if you do use a little shimmer, then just go up a little bit higher um, and put it like right above I do have a little bit of contour on right now. Come right underneath that cheekbone, so a little bit higher, okay? And the biggest thing with our products, um, the learning curve is, <laughs> maybe if you kept growing it out, it'll just keep going, Mary. It'll just keep getting curlier. I did a hair live at one point. I'll do another one in our 28 days of lives. So you wanna go with the bronzer right there, a little bit lower, and then with the blush, um, just a couple little taps, knock it off, um, and then right above that. So you're just kinda of going in layers, like bronzer here, blush here, and then we're gonna do the glow drops right at the top there. And then you're all, you're angling everything down. You don't want it to be straight. Um, you want everything, it's going to give the appearance of kind of that high lifted, we want to lift everything up, um, and it follows the natural lines of your, um, of your face, of your facial structure. So bronzer a little bit lower, blush a little bit higher, and if you have our products, the biggest thing I can say is you don't dig in, just a little bit tapping, okay, if you dig in, it's going to fly everywhere, it's just not needed, it's very pigmented. So let's go over on the other side. So I do have a little concealer contour on and I'm gonna go over that with the, uh, the bronzer. And then again, the blush is just gonna be a little bit higher and just make sure everything is blended in. 
I think the big thing to remember about this too is that like I never did this before. I never contoured before. I used a little bit of bronzer. I didn't use blush. Um, so I think a lot of it is, is just getting used to having product on your skin. And next time you um, look at a picture or see like a magazine and you really like their makeup, study it. You can see, you can see where they have, um, you know, lines for their contour. You can see where they have the gut, the blush. You can see where they have the highlight. It doesn't look weird because it's blended really well and it's placed perfectly. So if you are new to contouring, to having bronzer, blush, highlighter on your skin, it's going to feel weird because it's just different, but that doesn't mean it looks bad, okay? Send me a picture, I will tell you, I will be completely honest with you. Um, doesn't matter if you're a customer or not, if you wanna send me a picture, um, I'm happy to like be truthful with you and be like, okay, you need to blend this out a little bit more. Okay, that's too dark, this is too light. Um, let's do this. Okay, so that's what I'm here for. I absolutely love it. So feel free to do that. Let's fluff my hair a little bit. You guys like my jammies? I got them off Amazon for the sparkle party night. It was really fun. They're very comfortable. But also too, if you have curly hair, there's a reason I got these is because I don't want to have to tear, um, tear off. <laughs> I don't want to be tearing off anything. Um, I don't like pulling a shirt over my head or getting dressed in the morning that messes with your hair. It's going to create fuzz um, and like it's going to kind of break up those curls. Um, yeah, I thought that was going to be some laughs. Um, so having a button up shirt protects your curls. Um, so just a little side note there. Okay. So with the translucent powder, you can use that everywhere. Otherwise, um, you can just go over the areas that you're highlighting. Okay, and it basically just helps take away the shine. The shine? I don't know why I said it like that, the shine? Okay, I'm very pale. Um, let's see, glow drop. So she got the bronzer, blush, and then glow drop. So we've got a few different glow drops. We have, um, this is a rose, and it's definitely more of like a pink cool. We also have champagne. I kind of like mixing the two. And then we have a very dark bronzer which um, would be too dark to use as a highlighter for most people, um, unless you have a really deep skin tone. But there is a way to actually use our glow drops as, they call it an underglow. I still have to learn how to do it. But you're basically putting it on first as your contour and then adding your foundation over that. So I'm gonna learn how to do that. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm here to be your guinea pig. Bear with me here. And I'm gonna add these and then we're gonna do our giveaway. Okay, all right, say hi if you guys are watching. Okay, so you've got your bronzer right above that. You've got a little bit of blush and then I'm gonna use our glow drops. Figure out which finger it is. So you're gonna put it right on, you can already kind of see a little bit of um, shine there. It's what the top of your cheekbone right underneath like your brow, not your your eye socket, my goodness, I don't know words. Okay, and the biggest thing here is, well, kind of with everything that you do, you wanna make sure that you're just blending things out really well. I'm gonna not blend it so you can kind of see the drastic. Okay, so do you see how that like really catches the light? It gives you a really pretty natural glow a very pretty healthy glow this is a little bit dirty but it'll help blend it in a little bit more than my fingers a lot of people still use their fingers to apply makeup and I think that's completely okay with some things some makeup products there are other products that you need tools for okay Hi Rose, hi Dana. Showing off our glow drops, a little bright. So do you guys see how that just creates a really pretty, it catches the light, but it's really, really subtle. So here's no glow drops and here's glow drops. You're like, I'm an angel. Okay, so love these glow drops. A lot of people even use them on their eyelids. 
You can put a little bit on your lips to create a little bit of shimmer and dimension right in the middle. It gives the appearance of a fuller lip when you do a lighter um, color in the middle of the lip. Um, so lots of different uses. I even have people that mix this in with their moisturizer and do kind of an all over. Really subtle, but again, it gives that really pretty luminous and glowing look. So things I will practice and try and show you guys, okay? So there's the glow drop. So again, if you're just jumping on, I've got the bronzer as my contour. If you have a shimmer bronzer, I'd go just a little bit higher and then br um, blush above that and then the glow drops. And then just make sure everything's blended really, really well. Okay, after. And let's see, <gasps> let's move on to a giveaway. I can't be up here because it's pretty late. I should be in bed, I should be in bed. Okay, so if you watched my live last night, I just mentioned that I might do a giveaway for a mini mascara. And so here we are, if you commented, Elizabeth, if you're watching, if you catch the replay, you get a mini mascara. These mini mascaras came in our holiday collection and I absolutely love them. So this is the waterproof that I'm wearing right now. Hello, you guys, look at these lashes. Absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. And they will stay like that all day long. So uh, we have our original fiber building mascara or waterproof and I love the waterproof. Okay. So, what else? We're going to do some lip combinations. I've got a girl looking for some mob um, lips. And so, we're going to do Macaroon is probably one of my favorite ones. And our lip combos, guys, are buy two of any lip product. And um, for only $32. So, it's a great, great savings. It's a great time to get um, lipstick. Enduring lip colors, gloss, lip balms, and even our scrub is um, in that combination too. So any two lip products for $32. This is our Enduring Lip Color. So it's um, a liquid lipstick and then it dries into a matte finish. And it does take me a while because I take my time. And then, I don't know if you guys saw, I had this, um, what was it? I think it was Coco Teeny. I had it on for like 12 hours. I had coffee and tea. Lunch. And it stayed on. It was awesome. some background music okay so this is macaroon what I do with it okay there we go so this is macaroon I think this looks good on like absolutely everybody love this color yeah will you let her know Mary do you want to send her a quick message and ask her if she wants waterproof or original and then I can just drop it off at the at the center for her okay so macaroon love it but you get two Two lip products for $32. And I'm gonna show you guys that little trick that I just talked about, how adding a little bit of color in the middle, it gives it some dimension and helps create the illusion of fuller lips. It's all about illusion. So illusion that I have longer lashes. And then that's what the contour does as well. It helps you um, create more of a defined um, cheekbone. 
and even the, I have a contour down here so it even helps define that jawbone all right so that's what it's all about thank you so this is birthday cake it's definitely a really nice light nude if you want like an everyday very simple very subtle lip color birthday cake is where it's at Okay, so do you guys see the difference there? How adding a little bit of light, blending it out really nicely, really thoroughly, adds dimension to your lips. So it gives that appearance of having a fuller lip. And then if you want to take it up one more notch, you can add some gloss. And I wouldn't add too much. And right now, this is a matte finish. It will last all day. Um, if you add gloss, it's not going to have that same long lasting effect, but if you want a little bit of shine, then go for it. Okay. And then I don't want to smear it. So I do about Okay. So I'm just patting and then just using my other lip to blend it out a little bit, okay? So I don't want to smear what I just did by putting that lighter color in the middle. I'm just going to give it a little bit of shine, which again, adds more dimension, gives you a fuller look. And I absolutely love these. Smells like dessert and it gets smooth, you guys. I never wore, it's so funny when I talk to people about doing what I do. I'm like, oh, I don't wear makeup or I don't wear lip colors. I'm like, you have no idea. Like chapstick was all I ever wore. I never wore lip colors because I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like how it felt. I didn't like anything on my lips. And now because I realize the difference in professional products, I actually really enjoy wearing lip colors. The matte um, and during lip colors, um, these feel amazing. They are not drying they're not tacky uh, they like they're fairly moisturizing at the end of the day you will need to add a little bit of gloss to it but for the most part they're good it's gonna feel really great on your lips it's not gonna or it's gonna feel like you're not even wearing anything okay same thing with our glasses usually yeah right Mary but it's fun it's nice and you know what I always saw other women wearing um, color on their lips and I loved how it looked and I was just like, oh, I can't do that. You know, I just hate it so much. I, I can't wear lip colors. Um, but the difference is finding a great product that you love. And it's the same thing with our lip glosses. It doesn't get sticky or tacky or like, you know how sometimes it like gets grimy? Like, what is that about? I have no idea, but I don't deal with that anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, our glosses are so smooth and creamy. They're very moisturizing and they smell delicious. Okay. So that is macaroon birthday cake with a little bit of humble gloss on top. I should be taking pictures, but we'll do that later. And this lip combo sale is going to last all month, which is exciting for you procrastinators. But here's the thing, guys. Ruby chocolate, ruby chocolate, macaroon, the popular ones, they're going to sell out. So don't be waiting until the end of the month and then crying because I can't get you the color that you want. All right. <laughs> don't do that. All right. And there we go. Clean slate. All right. So what should we do now? Moon pie. Let's try moon pie. Because this is actually the first time I've been doing moon pie. I've ever done moon pie. I don't think I've done moon pie before. This is a little bit darker.
started at the top. I usually start at the bottom. I don't know what that's about. We're gonna go with it. This is very similar to Coco Teeny. I'm a professional makeup artist. Not really. But I just made a huge, huge bubo. Yeah, that's a girl, that's a great combination. So there's Moon Pie. Definitely kind of made a mess of that one. Let's add a lipstick over it. So this is 100, this is not telling, this is really similar to birthday cake and a lipstick. I like this one too. Pretty similar, a little bit darker. I like that one. Christmas, fall, winter, I mean. Not Christmas. Let's do a red lip. I'm gonna do a balm and then I'm gonna do a lip, red lip and then we're gonna call it a night. Cause I've gotta get up at 5 a.m. Thank you, Mary. I like that one too. The possibilities are endless. Okay. Our lip colors are so dense. You will have you will have them on your lips for a while, okay? Very dense. Like a lip stain. You know what, Dana? I get a little confused because I feel like people give me different answers when they want a lip stain. So I would ask a few more a few more clarifying questions, as like I like to say. Um, so ask if they want like a shiny, glossy look. Ask if they want more of a matte look. Um, a lip stain to me, I think of something like our enduring lip color or our lip balm. I, I get different answers from different people about a lip stain. So I will do our lip balm that I left in the car, obviously, at some point and got it everywhere. Because to me, our lip balms remind me of a traditional lip stain but I feel like I get different answers from different people when it comes about that this is a mess but that's okay I'm still gonna show it to you so this is dragon fruit lip balm really really pretty it um, I left it in the car so it's melted don't do that in the summer so Even though this is a balm, because it's tinted. Hi, Liz. Yeah, I agree. I love, I love a matte lip. And I've got like this kind of weird two-tone, I don't know if you can see it, um, two-tone thing going on with my bottom lips. So I like my colors to stay in place. But I feel like our lip balms are very close to, um, I don't know, I got a mad face. So 
this is what I think of when I think of like a lip stain, like a little bit of color. It's not necessarily glossy, but it's not a matte either. And even though it's a balm, it's going to leave some color behind because it's so pigmented. As with all of our products, because they're professional, there's a lot of pigment, there's a lot of color, they're very dense. Yeah, I love, I love that. I kind of just love it all. Okay, so that is um, Dragon Fruit Lip Balm. And you can even do a little bit up here. Um, if anybody is going on vacation and you are tropical, you can do a lip balm, you can do a glow drop, and you can do our waterproof mascara, and this is like all you need. And maybe, oh, I dropped something. I always drop something, okay. And then maybe like a powder, just if you know, you're out in the middle of the day and you need to get rid of any shine. But this is um, like lips and cheeks, and even you can do some on your brow or like lids. Um, here, just a really pretty healthy glow, lashes, and like that is all you need, mate, which is like our, that's like our Simply Pretty collection, you guys. That's the one I did last night. Add in a brow gel or a brow pencil, and you're good. So that's like a Simply Pretty collection. Add a glow drop. You have perfect everyday makeup for either, you know, at home um, or if you're on vacation. I just love that combo of the balm, the drops brows and call it good it's just like a really subtle healthy pretty look I could use these all day long come on I just love it playing you're like why are you putting on makeup at 10 o'clock at night Liz because it's fun I enjoy it maybe long lasting it does not have to reapply. Okay, so then she wants um, an enduring lip color. So the ones that look like this. So that's the, like a liquid lipstick. Um, it dries into the matte finish. The key, the very first time I tried Ruby Chocolate, um, I, I did not like it because again, I was not used to lip colors. Um, but the key is, this is a very old Ruby Chocolate. I'm waiting for my new one to come in. Um, but let me get a brand new one here. So when you first pull it out of the tube, there's going to be a lot of product on there. And if they just go in, they're going to get too much on their lips. Okay. So make sure that they are um, putting or you know, doing the scrape, putting away any excess and then going in. And that's really, really going to help. Um, and it's also going to last like a year. <laughs> so that's, that's the amazing part is because it is so dense that you just need the tiniest amount, um, scrape off the S excess and then it's going to last forever. So an enduring lip color. Okay. Good question. Okay. So that's our bombs. We did a bomb, bomb, a bomb, a bang, a bang, diggy, diggy. Okay. I think that's it. You guys, I'm going to do, I'm like, I just can do this all night. Let's do one lipstick. Ooh, that's fun. That's kind of sassy. Let's do a lip. <laughs> last one, last one. Okay, let's do, this is Rose Liner. And I love our lip liners. They're self-sharpening. So listen here, okay. It's snapping. It's actually sharpening the uh, lip liner. Yeah, Dana, happy to help. And then if you actually need more, you can just push this down and more liner will come out. So really great tool here. Uh, I'll show you what this looks like by itself and then I'll add the lipstick and we'll see what, we'll see what happens. We'll get crazy. Hi, Laura. I see you, girl. And when it comes to our liners, I like using the side of it when I apply. I don't use it like the point. I use it the side on the side. I feel like you get a softer line that way. It helps keep the point, number one. You get a softer line. And 
and our liners are also an enduring color. So you can use them as they are, just fill it in. And these are gonna last a really long time too. Yeah, that was this that's a, that was a key for me is to use the side of it. Not the point. So this is really pretty. This is a really pretty, mm, I don't know, like a subtle rusty red. So you can, again, use it everywhere. And this is gonna kind of act like an enduring lip color because it's going to um, stay all day, okay? So maybe this is like, you know, at work, and then you're gonna go out. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. I wanted to ask you about this. Okay, so have you ever been to Maury's, Maury's Steakhouse in Sioux Falls? Adam and I are gonna go there for a Valentine's Day. I'm super excited. And you know, I'm calling it a Valentine's Day, but he just happens to have that weekend off and it happens to be Valentine's weekend and he just wants a really good steak. So that's kind of, that's kind of what's happening there. Woo! Oh my goodness. I feel like I need to put some high heels on. Whoa, turn it up, turn it up, up. Whoops. I should have worn this to the sparkle party. That's fun. This is like, I'm going to run the world. I'm going to run the world. Again, would have never been caught dead in a red lip before Lime Life, y'all. But you know what? When you get to play with amazing products, you just want to play and try on colors. It's just makeup. You can take it off in one second. Okay. So I actually really, really enjoy this. I love how it goes with my blue pajamas. <laughs> it's perfect for bedtime. And maybe I will rock this on our date night to Sioux Falls. But if you've been to Maury's, can you please tell me? It looks incredible. Um, and I think I saw some good seafood there, but I would love to know what is your favorite, um, favorite thing to get there if you have ever been. So, I'm going to say good night, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. And you know what? If you catch the replay, I have another little lip gloss. So if you are, um, I, I, this is for customers only, so you don't have to be my customer, but if you are a customer and you're watching this, um, say hello, catch the replay. I'll put your name into a drawing for a little mini lip gloss. Okay. And we'll do this again tomorrow night. I'm doing a hundred lives. Um, I'm going to try and get them done in February, but at least it's going to be 28. I'm going live every day. I'm just getting back to having fun with y'all, showing you the products. It's not all going to be Lime Life. We're going to be going live about other things. Um, I went live about my ham and cheese sliders tonight, y'all. So you just never know what you're going to get. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to get to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Have a great Wednesday tomorrow. If you're catching the replay, say hello so I can get you in on that giveaway for the lip gloss. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Talk to you soon.